Today I'm going to show you how I created this card. It uses the owl punch to create the owl and I've created a little house for him. So quite a clean and simple card. Let's get started. Now you need uh, an A5 piece of cardstock scored down the centre and folded to create your base card. Then you need two pieces of cardstock the same size. This is 10 centimetres by 14.4 centimetres. One piece in white, one piece in Coastal Cabana. The Coastal Cabana will run through the Big Shot later with one of the embossing folders and the white piece can be um, stuck inside the card and that's where you'd write your message. Okay. You also need some extra pieces of baked brown sugar, two scrap pieces for the roof and one piece that measures six centimetres by ten centimetres and that is two and three eighths inches by four inches okay and that's for the main body of the house. We'll start off with our stamping and I'm going to use um, the hardwood stamp This needs to be inked up with baked brown sugar. Okay, once we've done that, we can lay the cardstock on top, cover it with some scrap paper, and then give it a good press down. take that off, ink him up again and this time we can put our roof pieces down, again cover it with some scrap paper and give it a good press. There we go. Before I run these two through the big shot and cut them, I'm going to stamp my sentiment. And for this, I'm using the For You stamp set, the Birthday Wishes stamp. Again, I'm stamping with baked brown sugar onto white cardstock. Now to cut these out, I'm using the Project Life Cards and Labels Framelets. The roof sections um, will be cut out using the pointy die. And I'm going to cut the sentiment out with the other long die. Okay, so I'll do that now and be back in a second. I've gone ahead and added the white section inside the card and I've also added the Coastal Cabana section to the front of the card. Now I've run this through the Big Shot with the large polka dot embossing folder. Okay. Um, I've also cut my two pieces for the roof. Now these I've already sponged the edges and then the main body of the owl house. So I need to sponge both the side edges and also the bottom edge. Okay, you don't need to do the top edge, that's not going to show. Alright then, now the next thing to do is to cut the hole in the house and for this I'm using the 1 and 3 8 circle punch. If you fully insert it into the punch and centralise it as much as you can and then punch out the hole. Now 
Now again we want to sponge the edges of that circle and I find a dauber's better for that rather than a sponge. I think my pad's a bit dry actually but never mind. Just ink the edges all the way round. There we go. Um, okay, now to get the roof on, we need to join the two sections together. Uh, all you need to do is just line up the edges together to create an upside down V. Okay, so I'm going to stick those with Tombow multi-purpose adhesive. Okay, line up the edges and just hold in place for a second or two. Okay, and then I'm going to use dimensionals to position the roof onto the our house. So I'm using three dimensionals, take off the backs. Okay, now the positioning for this, you want the top edge aligned with the top edge of your birdhouse. Okay, and trying to get it central. There we go. That looks okay. And then you can just trim off the excess at the top so it doesn't show. All right, nearly there. The next thing we want to do is to back this hole that we've punched out. Now you can use any piece of white scrap um, to do that. But what I've used is the one and three quarter inch scallop circle punch. So if I just punch one of those out and then add glue around the circle on the reverse. There we go. That's that. And then just to finish off, I've got one of our new itty bitty accent punches, the little heart. And I'm going to punch a Hello Honey heart and ink the edges. Now I want a little bit of dimensional on the back, then I can add that to the top of my owl house. There we go, and just finish off with a rhinestone. Okay, to fix it to my base card, I need to add dimensionals. Remove the backs again. It's not too bad. Okay, we can also add our sentiment now. So again, dimensionals on the reverse. Uh, 
and position that on the bottom of the card. There we go. Now the last thing to do is to create and add the owl. The owl is really easy to put together using our owl punch. To start off with I'm going to punch the body and I'm using early espresso cardstock. Next I'm going to punch his waistcoat and I'm using a little bit of our lullaby designer series paper. Then for his eyes, for the larger circles, I've got some baked brown sugar. Then white. one, the second one, and then finally for the little dots I'm using early espresso again. There we go. Oh also one more thing, for the little heart I've got a piece of Coastal Cabana There we go. Oops. So to start off with, I'm going to add his waistcoat to the owl. And that goes towards the bottom. Then I can build the eyes. So, little dot of glue, and then add the white. And then another tiny dot of glue, and I can add the early espresso pieces there we go then a bit more glue on the back and then we can position those there's one and the second one, there we go. Then just to finish off, we can add the heart onto his body and top that with a rhinestone. More dimensionals for the reverse. Oops. And then we can position him on our house. Like so. There we go, and we're done. Thank you for joining me today. Goodbye.